Aztecs tonight at 8 on the mountain where the West is won. We talked so much about Utah, New Mexico, BYU. Do not forget about San Diego State. They're still in the mix as well. Well, there's two teams right now who are uh, kind of in that second group. Don't forget the tournament's still in the running Rebels home court in San Diego State. Steve Fisher has had to balance injuries and suspension uh, for these last two years, but if he gets everyone healthy, they're more than talented enough to win that whole shooting match down there. Tavanari has hit his last three shots. Well, Penny Chom, kind of like Jackson Emery, is going to have to deny that catch on the field cut. Tavanari and uh, uh, O'Geary, both great shooters when they can kind of fill to the basketball, get their feet set, and catch. The thing you have to do is try to deny him the ball, and if you can't deny it, have high hands on the catch. Jackson Emery, you see there, uh, kind of an unsung hero in this BYU team, does all the dirty work. You see he's got the matchup uh, to uh, Ewing there. Really active hands, really good athlete. Nice job by Emory there, getting into uh, you and kind of making him change the rhythm of his jump shot. Fredette is fouled on the drive. Looks like it'll go against O'Geary. Both these teams really aggressive to the basket. You see them uh, off the dribble, off the kind of transition. Both teams, again, getting the ball deep. Jimmy Fredette has really helped himself in the offseason this year in the weight room. He's probably added 10 to 15 pounds now. He's got a set of shoulders that he can take a hit. Once he gets by you a little bit, a half a step, he can really finish it around the basket because of that added strength. Fredette's first two points of the game. And the Wyoming five-point lead has been wiped out by this 5-0 Cougar run, tied at 20. I think a, a, a real telling factor about uh, players when their scoring average goes up in conference play as opposed to going down, and Fredette has gone up. There you see O'Geary once again moving into that three. BYU dropped back that time into a 2-3 zone. It didn't take the Cowboys long to find O'Geary. That didn't take much uh, much zone offense there when you make a couple of passes and find old Gary who just jumps up and throws it in. I think that's his third three-pointer of the game, Mike. You said one of your keys to the game, one of your dodge keys to the game, guards the guards for BYU and O'Geary already with 11. Well, Gary against the Air Force had six threes in the first half, and he did it with guys, again, hanging all over him. He didn't, I don't think any of those six came on the open year. Stepping out and knocking down the 15 footer. And draws the charge. Adam Waddell, more like a hockey player, playing with stitches. Got eight stitches over his eye in the last game against the Falcons. But he's back out there competing.